Hello, my name is Alex Marshall, the Group Business Development and Marketing Director at Clark Energy. Clark Energy is an international specialist in the engineering, installation and maintenance of gas fuel power plants and other distributed energy resources. We have a range of solutions available to the mining sector to generate resilient energy, generate renewable power and reduce carbon emissions. Globally, we have supplied and installed over 7.4 gigawatts of power generation and energy storage equipment. We operate across 29 countries globally and employ around 1,300 people. We intend for our installations to have a range of environmental benefits. These include reducing carbon emissions through the displacement of diesel generators, reducing carbon emissions through the high efficiency combined heat and power generation, generation of renewable power using biogas, biomethane and hydrogen, enablement of renewable energy with grid balancing stations and battery energy storage systems supporting microgrids. Our parent company is the Kohler Company of Wisconsin, one of America's largest private companies, with a turnover in excess of $8 billion United States dollars. The company is comprised of an engine manufacturing business, kitchen and bathrooms, along with an owner and operator of five-star hotels and resorts. The Kohler Company is also the current principal partner of the Manchester United football team. Clark Energy has operated on the African continent for 25 years. We employ over 150 people across Africa and have sold and installed over 700 megawatts of power generation. We have permanent offices in Johannesburg, Lagos, Port Harcourt, Dar es Salaam, Douala, Tunis and Algiers. Our key customers in Africa are primarily businesses seeking stable supplies of power, often operating in fully island mode operation, isolated from the power supply network. On a basic level, an industrial customer in Nigeria can switch from diesel fuel power generation to natural gas fuel generation and pay off the capital expenditure within a two to three year period on fuel cost savings alone. Our experience on the mining sector is extensive with an installed base approaching one gigawatt globally across Africa, Australia, the United Kingdom, the United States and India. We have deployed solutions for gold, coal, zinc, iron ore, potash, kaolinite, feldspar, quartz and oil and gas sector projects for grid connected schemes and also islanded grids and microgrids. In our experience, the mining sector values stable, reliable and affordable energy above all else. The ability to operate completely independently from the grid is essential to the business's operations. Operating on a power island with large elements of heavy loads being brought to bear on the power supply gives challenges we can resolve with specific step loading rates or with hybridization with battery energy storage systems. We have demonstrated compressed or liquefied natural gas solutions are viable for mines that do not have direct piped gas supply or are waiting for one to reach the facility. An example includes the Abakaliki mining site in Nigeria, which uses compressed natural gas in advance of pipeline gas reaching the site. We also recognize mining operators are under increasing pressure to provide decarbonized power solutions. On a basic level, natural gas gives significant carbon savings versus diesel or heavy fuel oil. However, these generators can operate on completely decarbonized fuels, including biogas, biomethane and also hydrogen. Not only can our installations use imported fuels, in the coal mining sector we have provided numerous projects that recover methane from the mine and use it for local power generation. This technology can be deployed at virgin coal seams, working mine sites or closed mine sites, each having different gas characteristics. The recovery and use of this gas not only helps self-generation of power, it also improves worker safety and reduces carbon emissions. The global trend is for the displacement of diesel and heavy fuel oil-based power with pipeline, compressed or bottled gas, and also hybridization with solar, wind and energy storage. The gold mining industry in particular has shown significant investment in power generation assets in recent years, with Clark Energy seeing around 250 megawatts of new projects. Recent examples of projects Clark Energy is working on include the Alinta Newman 2 power station in Western Australia. Here, a large islanded grid consisting of a 14 engine, 60 megawatt gas fuel power station being built by Clark Energy is linked to a 60 megawatt solar PV station. A recent major mining development in the UK in a national park is not only able to import and use LNG for power generation to supplement a limited grid electricity supply, but is also linked to a battery energy storage system to help with electrical loads. With a global uptick in commodities prices, we are also seeing an increased investment in associated African industries too, such as the furnace gas sector. 
there is once again a demand to increase capacity at local ore smelting facilities. The Tronox Namaquasan smelter is an example of a South African titanium dioxide plant that utilizes gas engines in combined heat and power configuration to generate both electricity for the plant's operations and also heat to support the smelter. The gas being used here is historically a challenging waste gas consisting of 20% hydrogen and 80% carbon monoxide. Utilization of hydrogen for the mining sector is also becoming more bankable. It can be used in INEO's Yambaka gas engines for both base load and backup generation if linked to a local electrolyzer. In summary, our experience of the mining sector related power generation is becoming more and more diversified and moving away from diesel based power generation. Gas is the logical next step and can be both fossil and or renewable gas fuels. Microgrids are also becoming more prevalent with the potential to hybridize with solar PV and battery energy storage systems. If you'd like to learn more about technologies discussed in this presentation, please get in touch with me to learn more. Thank you.